Hello everyone, my name is Akereli Oluwa Shogo, popular known as Mr. Excel. I'm a data analyst with Leadly Data Analytics School. Today we'll be talking about HR analytics. HR analytics. What do you understand by the word HR analytics? HR analytics is the process of collecting and analyzing human resource data in order to improve an organization workforce performance. HR analytics is the process of collecting and analyzing human resource data in order to improve an organization workforce performance. The process can also be referred to as talent analytics, people analytics, or even workforce analytics. analytics. So why do we need to analyze HR data? Why conduct employee turnover analysis? One of the HR analytics we are going to look at is the turnover rate. And what is turnover? Turnover simply means leaving the organization due to dismissal, attrition, or other reasons. These people will not be on the payroll during the next period. We call it turnover. So what is a turnover rate? Turnover rate simply means the percentage of employee living in a given period of time. The percentage of employee living in a given period of time. If you look at this data we have on this, so we have different tools that we use for HR, HR analytics. We can use Microsoft Excel to analyze HR data. We can also use Power BI for the HR analytics. So then we are looking at the Power BI dashboard that we have created regarding the HR analytics. If you look at the dashboard, we have a um, the total number of termination, which is people that left the company, is 411. The total head count, the current employee in the company, is 2,000. So if you look at this, this is um this is another metric, HR metric, which we call HR to employee ratio. So it's called HR to employee ratio. If you look at the visual that I have here, is this is an area chart showing on the head count per year. You can see. In 2018, we have 1,717 staff, and in 2019, the number reduced to 283. So a lot of people left the company. Like I said, 511 people left. So if you look at the turnover rate, it's very high, 25.55. If you look at the turnover rate, so how do we calculate the turnover rate? How do we calculate our turnover rate? So we have different formula for calculating turnover rate in Power BI. So the turnover rate is the number of termination divided by average head count times 100. That the number of termination divided by the average head count times 100. We also have what we call monthly turnover rate. We also have what we call annual turnover rate. So the one we have calculated is the annual, annual turnover rate. So you can also see here, we also have what we call the, the gender distribution so of leavers. So I also get i got an insight for the gender distribution so we have a uh, more female male staff more of male staff in this organization 52.5 percent why the the people the staff that left the female staff that left is for 7.95 out of the 511 people that left the company so we have more of male that left the company than the female so out of the 511 so we also have what we call the, we also did what we call head count by department so we have number of people that we have in each of the departments so here i have my this the destination and the and the head count so each destination and the number of people regarding that row and the people that left from that particular row so here with me also have my table we have the department and the turnover rate for each of the department so support department is having the highest number of turn turnover rate which is the 28.40, 28.40. So that's the total number of, that's the turnover rate that we have from support department, followed by the LEGA department, which is 27.778. So why do we conduct the, why do we conduct turnover data analytics? Number one, the number one reason why we conduct that kind of analysis is it helps us to know, it helps us to know and prevent the root of um, people leaving the organization, people leaving the organization. So I said, you can, what I put, I said, um, conducting the turnover analysis will help the HR department know who is leaving. So it helps us to know who is leaving. For example, they can quickly know when the department has the most employee leaving. We can see now we, had, we know the department that is having the highest 
employee that are living in that particular department. So furthermore, they will also know when the most employee leave the company for instance, do they go after a salary review or after receiving their bonus. So when you conduct HR analysis, it helps you to do a lot, it helps you to make an informed decision regarding your workforce. That's one of the one reason why we conduct HR analysis. It's also able to reduce the cost of turnover. It also helps you to create target employee retention strategies. So they have a lot of benefits for conducting HR analytics. So all right, if you want to learn how to analyze your HR data, you want to learn HR metrics and analytics, you can register in our company, which is called Legally Data Analytics School. So thank you for watching my video. My name is Akereli Oluwa Shogo, popularly known as Mr. Excel.